honestly the best a community and sort of corporate um, partnerships are those where both parties come to the same table and really sit down and think about how do we identify some of the issues that are already there and how do we come together and figure out a comprehensive plan to bring resources into the situation. This is all about diversity at its core. You know, we, we can never understand someone else's experience truly, but we can become more exposed to it. We can become more aware of some of the situations that people may have. And through that, I think we can all work together to make great solutions. We bring in at-risk youth. They have an opportunity to either decide to start their own business or develop a skill, become a drone pilot, something that these youth probably never would have considered before. I think that's one of the great things that MITRE does is that we don't really look at it like well, this is going to impact a million people and this is only going to impact you know, 50,000 people, so we shouldn't do that. That thing still needs to be done. So let's do, this, do the small things and the big things. You know, let's do everything. Let's just make it a better place. The people at MITRE naturally want to solve problems, whether it's on a large scale or just right outside our doors. And that's what drives us. We define corporate social innovation as new, inclusive and collaborative approaches to strengthen civil society. We have three focus areas of this work. K through 12 STEM, where we're inspiring the next generation of STEM innovators. Community engagement, we are being more impactful about how we show up in the communities where we live and where we work. Innovation pathways, we're opening the innovation ecosystem to invite more voices and more perspectives in. There was a BIPOC mentorship program that was launched in collaboration with Mass Challenge and MITRE that we were invited to be a part of. And that was pretty transformational. In past accelerator experiences, I found that there's not a sufficient enough emphasis on women founders or black, indigenous, or people of color founders. And having that mentorship with such a high profile, leverageable mentor like MITRE being narrowly tailored like that, I thought was really powerful and so vital because the resources are typically snatched up by other more privileged groups. Keeping it available and accessible, I think was important and more companies, more leadership, and more investment needs to follow that example. For me, social innovation means uh, really new ways um, and thoughtful ways of engaging the community. It's great to throw money at them, but it's different to provide access. What I found most rewarding throughout Connection with MITRE was students feeling welcomed when they entered the space. They are able to come in and touch things and kind of see what things are like, so this way they can begin to change their perspective. MITRE is the most gracious employer I have ever worked for. They encourage us to be out in the community, to get involved, to understand what the problems really are on the ground. We are really excited to work with MITRE on data products that we've been building. Collective Liberty collects data and intel related to human trafficking and helps law enforcement and prosecutors all over the country build out cases. Being able to collaborate with MITRE really supercharged a lot of our efforts. One of the major things uh, that, that might have really helped with was a conference called CYP Unite, which really brought together over 800 youth, mainly minority males, to learn about different career paths or different ways that they can be successful. Those youth are able to see like, wow, this could be real, this could be me. Partnering with different types of schools and different communities, that's going to strengthen the way we innovate to make better solutions and to be more impactful. If you're interested in getting involved with us, email CSI at MITRE.org.